You know, Tofu, we never shown a, a bass on TV. Well, you so see, you're looking for a bass, and just because you're, you're wanting one. <laughs> that's, that's the way it is, though. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't want them, we'd be throwing them away left and right right now. You know when you want a fish, you can never you can never catch them on cue, but when you don't want a certain type of fish, you know, you're know you always catching them. It, uh, it never fails, so let's not want to catch one of these fish. And immediately, man. Yo, he wanted it. There he is, right there. How about that? Right on cue. A little tighter on the back. <laughs> what do we got? All right, here we go. It's the, it's the first time I'm going to show you one of these fish on, on camera. And I told people I was never going to show you. Here he goes. Here we go. Let's see if I can do the see if I can do the lip. Everybody want to know what a Mogan was. I'm going to show you. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. A little lunker. <laughs> we got us a little lunker, the first one on addictive fishing. And we can thank Tofield Bourgeois of Bourgeois Charters right here in Louisiana. About 23 miles away from downtown New Orleans. We're gonna be catching bass today. We're gonna to be catching redfish. Hopefully we're gonna show you a little bit of trout, but uh, here we go. The first one ever on addictive fishing. That's gonna be a famous little bass right there. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back and we're gonna tell you where we're at and what we're doing today. Get on out of here, dude. Man, you'd think these fish would be turned on with all this low pressure. Well, welcome back. A little bit different scenery around us right now. We got the clouds, we got Mother Nature pushing us from one spot to the other. We're gonna see what happens down this bank here. Tofield says you can be fishing a bank here, have nothing, 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 then take off and go 25, 30 yards down the, down the shore. You got a hit. And uh, all of a sudden they just start turning on. So we're gonna see what happens down this shoreline. Fish on one, boy. There he goes, Tofield, there you go. Oh, he's no whopper, bro, but he's <laughs> hard to have supper without him. <laughs> so the, T the TP's gonna be eating tonight, huh? Yeah, we're gonna invite him over, man. Invite him over to supper. Oh, you got him, a buddy uh, over there. Man. Yeah, that's a good eating size, huh? Got him a little hot, man. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful, that's, man, beautiful. That's the good size eating redfish yeah, there, huh? Yeah, everybody likes some big ones. But honestly, for grilling, this is the biggest I want. That's perfect. Right there. So I see that's one side for me, Chris. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> covering <laughs> today. <laughs> you gotta get something to slip him in there. Well, I guess I should have kept that bass then, huh, if I'm gonna eat tonight. <laughs> yeah, you should have kept that little bass. That'll catch me another one. Which I think I can do here in South Louisiana. So until I do, oh, there he is right there, brother man. Woo! Nice. <laughs> nice. If boy. I wasn't on cue, Somebody I guess I'm gonna eat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect size, boy. Well, Perfect he told, size. he said it, Tofio. I mean, we were just 10 minutes up the bank, not catching anything, and Tofio was sitting there saying, you know, you can go 100, 150 yards down the shoreline and end up, you know, in all the redfish that you'd want to catch. Come on, I guess if I get this one in, he's dinner for me tonight. <laughs> well, Chris, Woo! I guess you and Tofu are gonna have to split yours. I, I got me a whole one. You got one, one right? all to yourself, don't you? Got me a whole one right there. Look <laughs> at the spots on this guy. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six on that side. A lot of times they match, but not this time. One, two, three, four on that side. We're gonna see how he does on the grill tonight. He's a legal one, Annie Tofu. Yeah, looking good. You got 18 to 27 inch here. We're gonna be eating tonight. I tell you what, he made that uh, what they call redfish on the half shell and that's where you take and put the you take the fillet off the redfish here you lay it over you leave the scales on you put them on the coals and once you have that meat wide open there you just season it up and uh, put it on the grill and it is darn good uh, actually down here but it's, it's a 16 to 27 16 to 27. 16 inches that's the one we want 16 and a 16 the best one. You need a new body. There we go. Hey, there, we go. there we go. Chris Ross is going to get him a fish. <laughs> he's going to get him. He's going to catch himself some boy. dinner. I, I get to eat, baby. <laughs> oh, it's a good one, Chris. It's a good one? Yeah. Is that worthy of a net? I think so. That's a netter? Well, that's, that's a netter. A, that's a netter. A worthy of a netter. All right. Well, Chris Russell has finally got himself something to eat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Got a 
real fish there, Chris. Uh, look out. Oh, oh <laughs> you ain't eating the night. <laughs> Dang. Shoot. Oh, There'll be another one right man. around the corner. Man. Right around the corner. That was a good one right that there. That was a big one, boy. That was ah. a big one. Kofi, this is my first time to Lafitte when I was driving in. I saw that on the township it said, welcome to the town of Jean Lafitte. Was Jean Lafitte a, a, a person that, of interest or importance at one time here or what? John Lafitte, man, um, probably one time in your life around eighth grade, probably done your civics test or some of your history test, it was probably a question, who helped the battle in New Orleans? Yeah. The pirate Jean Lafitte. So uh, this town, this is where he used to do all his dealings and all his uh, backdoor kind of things. And so the town's kind of named after him. Well, I thought the town of Jean Lafitte might mean, you know, redfish everywhere or something. And Cajun talk. Come on. I just heard one eat over here. Man, they're just everywhere looks the same. Tofi, what what do you look for when you get into a spot? Since everything looks kind of the same, are you just looking for the bait? Pretty much the same scenario, man. You try to find some clear water and bait. Get him, son! Ooh. Well, I gave you a Roland Martin get him, son, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> That looks like a good one there, too. Ooh, yeah, he's got there. some shoulder on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no matter where you're at, redfish pull. I've always said that on the show. We'll use the net for this one. We'll get him in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> we will get him in the boat. Let's see if I can put the net on this guy. Lift him, lift, lift, lift. Ready? There he is. Ooh, there he was. Pull. There he goes. <laughs> There Got we it. go. Okay. Woo, now, now yeah, you, I can eat. Now you can eat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Your TP is going to eat. You know what? I could have used that fish during the tournament the Woo. other day. That is that's a, a beauty. That's a nice oh. redfish. And I tell you what, this redfish, he was right in, what, 12 inches of water right oh, here. Oh, yeah. As soon as he hit, he was in the mud. Nice little redfish right there. Heck, yeah. And we're going to show you what we're using here in a second. We, if you notice, we're using spinner baits. But we got, and I'll show you during the bait check, little DOA cows, just little tiny plastics. Same thing I use straight out of the straight out of the DOA Mogan kit. There's a nice little redfish. Nice job. From the man from Eagle Woo! Claw got him one. That's a goodie. We all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing from South Louisiana, right here in the marsh. <laughs> Somewhere in the marsh, I don't know. Tofield's secret hole. <laughs> as long as we can find our way home. No, we can get our way home. <laughs> we got the Ray Marine for that. <laughs> we'll be right back. It started out with only sleep six people, then we could sleep eight people, then we could sleep 16 people, and then now it sleeps 20. Then I found this other, this little schoolhouse that where you stayed last night, that one sleeps 50. Yeah, that schoolhouse is something else. <laughs> yeah, it's we a got a great place. Yeah, we got a lot of people we can put up now. Oh, you like it when you see the V's going away from you. Well, welcome back. What we've done now, we've kind of, we've changed locations. I know it looks the same, but it looks the same any, about anywhere here in Louisiana where you go in the marsh. And we're just working the areas here right along the marsh, just pitching them with spinner baits along with the DOA cow and catching redfish. And we are putting the test to the new Wright McGill rods. And uh, I think we're gonna have Chris get the next one I can spot and we're let him get a good bend in these rods and see what happens. What do you think? I'm ready to test another one out. Field testing it is very best right here. Field testing. Research and development, otherwise known as fishing and catching. <laughs> there he is, fish on, brother. Woo. Fish on, right in there. There's another one to the point, Chris. Another one right to the point, as far as you can. Good shot, good shot, right in front of him. Twitch, 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 you should have him. Did you get it? Nope. Get it. There, there he is. <laughs> ah, it's be spit it, though. You I sure ain't coming it. to you? Nope. There's another one going right yeah, here. Under the boat. Wow, it was almost a double going there. Come on, dude. Always going the other way. Man, all cookie cutter size red. All these, all these the same size you like to eat, huh? Yeah, you're right. What is your limit on these on these redfish here? Well, it's uh watching, but that might He's a mean one. I know they're mean. They, they, are, out your hand, they are mean here. It's uh, five a person. Man. Five per person. Five a person. 16 to 27, one over 27. So you're going to be able to feed quite a few folks today. Oh, man. I got places around where I live back on the Space Coast in Florida that look a lot like this. Got the saw grass around and little, you know, trinosas and stuff. But the current flow is something we don't have where I live. 
because it's kind of all an enclosed system. But it's, it looks so familiar than, that would like where I fish, but when I go and try to fish it, it's, there's nothing there, you know, and you think, man, if it was only in Louisiana, you know? See these back up in here in this smooth water, oh, this is, a, this is perfect in here. <laughs> it looks good in there. Got to look at this one right here. There he is, going down the bank right there. Hey, you're beautiful, right. man. Oh, Topheel's on, brother. I didn't think he was going to eat it, man. He kept swimming away. Yeah, swimming he did. He away. had to get far enough away from the, the from, boat. From the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good one there. Woo! Oh, nice. Finally caught up, Woody. Now we can enjoy the ride. <laughs> <laughs> now we can enjoy the fight, man. Yeah, I'll give you a hand oh. back there, Woody. All right. Oh, I don't guess you need a hand. <laughs> <laughs> give me a hand, boy. I think someone's got it taken care of. That 15 pound test power pro, you can just lift them right on into the boat. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> and help of a good, strong back ride, too. <laughs> yeah, that always helps, too. I think you're right, McGill, to him right into the oh, live well. Right in, right, <laughs> right in the box. Right into the box. There you go. So what do you think about that rod? Pretty doggone neat, man. Well, so. what, what we've done here with the, with the research we've done, we've done high modulus graphite in these rods, basically to give you that the high sensitivity, but where you get the power to fight these big fish, it's carbon Kevlar from here, about halfway up to the first eye, all the way to the butt. Yeah, you're right. And it's got a palm swell in here, so it kind of fits your hand a little oh, better. And it's got the- You uh, can't do that in a lot of fish, in a lot of rods. You do that, just let me- Break yeah, like normally that. breaks. And it also has a triangle foregrip right here, and it's you, you can really feel it. I know it's kind of hard to see on there, but it's flat on these sides. And I like it because when I put my finger on the side there, I can really, it gives it a lot more sensitivity for the feel of the lure when it's in the water. But, and it's got a little fighting butt here so you don't get all wore out and doesn't give you that you big blue. Big bruise. <laughs> get a big get. bruise with them big bulls. Well, bottom right. line is a good ride. <laughs> I, I'm glad I got it's the a, approval of Tokyo on that ride, one. Man. Oh. Bam, he got it, boy, right there. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, there's a school, boy. There's a school. Get up in there. Oh, yeah. Cast, 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 cast. There you go. <laughs> right up in the back of the duck pond. And, oh, he's a nice one, too. Mm. Ain't a bad one. <laughs> Not a bad one at all. Keep chunking, Chris. Keep chunking. Come to Louisiana. If you can't catch a redfish in Louisiana, you might as well put away every bit of fishing gear you have and go, I don't know, do something else. Play golf. Go play golf. <laughs> well, them penny loafers and plaid shots. <laughs> <laughs> Down here you gotta wear Crocs and... <laughs> Crocs barefoot. And... Yeah, barefoot, big old nasty toenails and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a real red fisherman. Yeah. A real red fisherman. Man. Get this old hook out of nice this guy. Nice one, boy. Nice one. You know what? If I don't let at least one of these red fish go, <laughs> I'm going to have every, everybody in Florida is going to be like, you didn't let a single fish go. So yeah, here we go, everybody yeah, in Florida. Yeah. This one's going back for y'all. Yeah. And off of that green water he goes. <laughs> That's yeah, a heck right. of a little duck pond you got going on here. Hey, if y'all want to come to Louisiana and catch redfish, make sure you come to Tofield's place because he will flat put you on the redfish. I'm gonna put me another tail on, head up front, yeah. and get me another one. One more. Huh? One more, one more. <laughs> Just like a good alcoholic, man. Well, you gotta get addicted to something. You're a fishaholic, man. <laughs> but y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing from Louisiana. I want to take just a second and show what we were using out here today. I used the same bait all day long. I didn't change baits one time. Just when they got tore up, I would go and change them. Confidence in the electric chicken cow using a quarter ounce jig head. And Tofield supplies the uh, spinner bait. And I like using the spinner bait because what it does, it puts a vibration through the water and it gets the redfish looking around to see where that vibration's coming from. And then it goes and jumps all over the bait. It looks like one of these little mud minnows, just like any other little bait going around. Take the lunker sauce and put it on there, make it smell like the bait. 
and it works great. Catches redfish one right after the other. I'm using 40 pound test fluorocarbon leader. Like I said, if I'm using fluorocarbon, if it brings me one more bite during the day because of the fluorocarbon, it's done its job. Now I'm using a uni knot to tie down real tight down onto the spinner bait because you don't want the spinner bait coming off with a loop knot. Just, you know, as it, I use a loop knot almost 99, 9.9% .9 of the time. Using another uni knot, uni to uni right here to tie my 10 pound test power pro and using the inshore slam series right McGill rods. It's my signature series that we've been talking about for the past few shows and they're doing great. I have the palm swell here. They're just very, very comfortable rod that you feel in your hand. Toe fields fall in love with them. You guys out in Texas, I hope you get a chance to try them because they are great rods. You can have fun catching little fish, catching big fish. And as you saw today, we we're catching bass and we're catching redfish, catching trout. You can catch anything with these rods and still have fun with them. They're real, real strong, and they got a real, real flexible tip so you can have fun. There's your bait check for today. Now you can come down and book toe feel and catch yourself a bunch of redfish. Now get off the couch and go fishing. Going down a bank, boy. Farther down? Going down a bank. He's right on the grass. He's on. There, he there he is. <laughs> he jumped all over it. Are you finally putting them right McGill rods to the test? Finally. Now? I just waited my turn, that's all. <laughs> nice you got a one with a little bit of meat on the end of him. That's a real one, man. That's a real one. There's another one right up here. Another big one. You right by that one. Yeah. Oh, he didn't want to almost double up on him. Not quite the Indian River status redfish. I don't think it's fish. a huge one, but it's... You got that other one right there. Hey, get him. Oh, I'd love to do a double right here. Here we go, here we go. Right in front of his nose. Oh, he didn't like it. You see him spook? That is a nice one. Right, let's get down so we can get this guy. He'll pull you off and break your neck. <laughs> That's a nice one. I think he's a walk around, okay? That's a walk around? Put way on around. down to the right hand side. I get him coming. There you go. Get him coming back. Yeah. Walk him like a dog. There you go. I do like the sound of that drag, though. Yes, sir. That's always one of my favorite sounds. I always say that's music, brother. Music. That's a good one. He likes staying underneath the bottom of his ranger. Oh, yeah. He? he likes that dark spot down there. You ready? Yeah, I got him. Got him right here. You know what? I think that's the nicest one of the day. Woo. That is a good fish. All Here right. Way to point him out, Tofield. That's a nice Pick him red, right up. man. That one's a nice man, red fish. That's a beauty. Look at him. So what, is this one going back in? or? Is yeah, this he's one? a swimmer, man. Kiss I him, think man. we kiss ought to let that one go. go. That's a kiss. kiss. Right. Mm -hmm. How about you? Oh, I thought I was supposed to kiss you. Oh, you ain't kissing <laughs> me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, he's, he's a little too yeah, big. Yeah, turn man. that one loose. We he's got a, the box full, oh, I think. Here he goes. All right, well, we can't keep them all. Can't keep them all, brother. That's right. Nice that job. A, that was a good fish. He's too big, field. man. Too big, that one, Chris. That Thanks for having us down here. I tell you what, if y'all ever want to do it, you can see what you do right here on TV. You can you can come and do it right here with Tofield. Bourgeois Charters right here in Lafitte, Louisiana. You can come and get addicted to red fishing. Chris Russell from Bright McGill, Eagle Claw, Laser Sharp. Thank all you the very same much. company. Great products. We use them on the show every single week, and you see us catching fish left and right. Tofield. We will be back, I promise <laughs> yeah, you. Right. Don't forget about the website, addictedfishing.com. Get you a Mogan kit. Come to Lafitte, Louisiana. He'll supply the spinner baits. You can come catch all the redfish you want. We'll see you next week. Come on, man. It's like a good one there, too. Ooh, yeah, he's got some shoulder on that one. I think you're right, McGill, to him right into the oh, live world. Right in the <laughs>Yeah, from the man from Eagle Claw, got him one. That's a good Here we go, everybody in Florida. This one's going back for y'all. Bam, he got it for right there. There he is. Uh, there you go. Oh, 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 you ain't eating tonight. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, 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 turn that one loose. The first one ever on a big fish. Ooh. Oh. <laughs>